If you're wondering how to build a loyal fanatical following, you're going to want to check out this video with Patrick Hanlon, author of Primal Branding, founder of Thinktopia, an agency that helps mega brands develop loyal communities, including Google, American Express, Samsung, and so many more. We're going to talk about how to build loyal communities today. What do you want to say to people that are thinking about trying to develop a little tribe? Where do we start? What do we do? Well, you have to have a great idea. The quality of the community that you build around your product surface is probably more important than the product or service itself. You have to figure out how you're going to build that community. That first person that you talk about is your first fan. Then you build investors and so forth. They're also fans. And so what you need to do is to think about them in that way. And as you build things out, you will not only attract more people to you, but once you create a belief system around that you and fill in all the pieces of the story you'll be able to get more fans more investors more interested and you see some big companies doing this all the time they'll just send something out into the universe you know some idea they have some thought experiment then it'll go away and you won't know what happened to it well it didn't work probably that's the very beginning of them starting to trial and error trying to create that fan base we've developed a product that we have a community of customers that love and we are trying to figure out how to how to make those consumers even more engaged with our brand. What tips would you have? Do user studies. That's okay. number one. Figure out who your zealots are. Those are the people who want to stick with you through thick and thin. We look at two people, the, the zealots and then the potential zealots. So we find out why the zealots are there, what's sticky about you. Then we figure out who the potential zealots are. Those because that's the low hanging fruit, the next layer of sales, if you will. We figure out why they're not coming with us and remove the barriers, remove the friction points, and then move on. Let's say we we're, we're talking to some of our most loyal customers. What are we doing with the data that we receive from them and how do we use that data? You find out the things that are really working. When you're talking about building a belief system, you have to figure out you know, what's the creation story, what's the creed, icons, rituals, non-believers, the lexicon, how we talk about this, and the leader. It's not enough just to fill in those blanks. You have to keep that, those things exciting. And so you may have to retell them or you may have to put, tell them in other venues. You did a YouTube video and now let's see something else. We need to hear or see about things from five different places before we even are aware that it exists. The other metric you use is that it takes 100 hours to make a friend. If you think about the five places in 100 hours, you know you have a lot of work to do. Can you give us an example from maybe one of your clients of how this might be put into practice without getting super deep into the weeds? We did some work with the Nature Conservancy in Kenya. What we did is we went through the code. Here's where they're from. Here's what they're all about. Here are the icons, whether it was the animals or the terrain. Here's what they're not never want to become. Here's the language that we're using to surround them. Here's the leader. We wrapped that up into a story, called in some favors, had a friend of ours give them a new logo, which was just superficial. But the cool thing is we had people write articles about it and so forth. We won the gold award for ecotourism in Africa up against other countries and their tourism boards, up against airlines, up against hotels. But we won. That's the ability of the and the power of this. You are able to ping both the rational and the emotional parts of our brain that help things make sense. And if you make more sense than I do, you win. You don't need money to do that. All you right. need is a story. You tell three friends and then they tell three friends and then always building new networks and figuring out who those networks should be. You mentioned the word creed earlier. Can you talk to me a little bit about what that means and how businesses could potentially create one and or leverage one? So the creed is not really the mission, which tends to be sentences long. It tends to be something that's been boiled down into something that's very essential about the company, like invent for HP or think different for Apple, or just do it for Nike. Uh, but the creed is really uh, what brings us to work in the morning. It's essential that you know not only where you're from, but why you're there, what's your purpose. Are there any specific recommendations you would have to someone who is creating video for their community. You having something to say or doing something that's interesting is your product. What you want to do is build the story around yourself and that product. How can we truly be authentic if our job is marketing? I mean, it's a dilemma, isn't it? The way that I look at it is that, you know, from the time we're born, told that we're part of a family, we're told that we're part of uh, a neighborhood, that we're a, a son, daughter, cousin, grandchild. We go to school and we're told what we're good at and what we're not good at. And we sort of start wrapping these stories around ourselves and it becomes who we are. Sometimes that gets unraveled. At a certain age, you discover all of a sudden that you're walking inside of someone else's story. Tim Cook, 
Cook, God bless him, is walking inside Steve Jobs' story. Whoever's the CEO of current CEO of GE is walking inside Thomas Edison's story. And that's great because we need people like that. What if you want to write your own story? Then what do you do? We have to start figuring out what story is wrapped around you. All right, be sure to check out this video right here, which is one of our favorites of Patrick's.